okay so let's take a look at how you can use update statement in data manipulation language with apex so log into your developer edition of salesforce and open developer console it should open in new tab or new window okay and let the apex developer console load now once it loads we will navigate to debug menu Okay, now here you see debug menu then open execute anonymous window okay, if you have any existing code you can remove that now after that what you will do is you will first create an account so account ECC new account okay and in constructor we can simply pass on let's see something like name it saber okay Make sure to end it with semicolon then we use insert method to add account okay now first will be uh, some sort of updating for this account so we will create one more object so let's see updating account up ac now this equals to and here what we will do is we will basically have our query in square bracket so select id name and billing city from account where id equals to acc dot id okay make sure to end this with semicolon as well so here id equals to account id is added so as to locate this name and change its billing city so what we'll do is we will use let's say up ac dot billing city equals to let's say my city okay now once we do that what we'll do is we will try to use try block and we will add update and we will pass a pc okay then we will use catch block dml exception okay now here let's catch the exception okay now also you can use system dot debug output whatever the update that we have done okay and then we can execute the code okay let's wait for the log to see the updated changes so first would be our user debug for welcome to account creator trigger second would be or another user debug so let's take a look at that okay so here is user debug where you can you can see account id name and also the billing city okay so you get the idea how to use update statement in apex dml